Melted. It's gonna be a mukbang. We got the rice, corn, and chicken. And I wanna talk about um things that I feel like is uh my pet peeves about both genders, so So the first one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do five for males and five for females. So my five pet peeves of a guy is of males are males that want a dominant female and they're not dominant in their own life. Like how you gonna want somebody that's dominant? In like how you gonna want a dominant female? And you not dominating your own life. Like, you not doing nothing for yourself, but you looking for a female to do everything that you not doing. Like, that shit pisses me off. So, I feel like even for a female, too, you want a dominant male, but you ain't dominating your life. Even myself included. How you want a semi-dominant and you ain't dominant. But, yeah. So that's two and two. So that's for males and females on a pet peeve. Second pet peeve. I dislike a male and a female. I guess that is, everything I'm seeing is for each gender. I dislike a female and a male for pet peeves that want a person to be thick and you skinny as a stick. Like what? How you how you want a thick female? And you mad bony. And that goes for males too. I mean, that goes for females too. How you want this male to be built like Hercules and you looking like a skinny stick or you looking like, I don't know, you just look crazy. You look over beast. Like, get in the gym together. You know what I mean? That's a pet peeve of mine. Another thing, another pet peeve is Hmm. Let me think. Another pet peeve will be abusive people. So you want a stable relationship, but you verbally abusing the male, and the male is physically abusing you, or vice versa. Like you can't beat on the male, and then no one beat on you. I learned that the hard way, but. Not even in my own personal relationships. I've never had nobody beat me. I mean, I had somebody attack me, but he never, like, put his hand on me like that. But I broke up with him right after. So, I never did him again. But, yeah, you can't want a relationship to be top tier and y'all both just Deteriorate at each other's personality or just deteriorate at each other's aura and who you are as a person. Like me, I like playing around. So I might say stuff like, I'm thinking it's a joke. The whole time, you taking it as me being a B I T C H when that's not my intentions. But you know, some people take it like that. And then another pet peeve with the genders will be. I dislike a, a relationship. Well, I dislike a gender where it's like a gender for all oh, women should do this or males shouldn't do that. Like I don't like that. Like if I want to put makeup on your face, let me put makeup on your face. I don't. I'm not gonna think you gay. And if you ain't gay, I'll accept you if you gay. But don't be gay on me. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. But yeah, another pet peeve too. Is I dislike people that judge relationships with people that are clingy. Like, if they like their relationship to be clingy, let them have their relationship be clingy. Why are you in their business? And I'm me personally, I want to be clingy with somebody. I don't care. If you don't want me to be clingy, don't be with me. And that's why I guess nobody be with me. Because I'm too clingy. I don't care. And another pet peeve, too, is I hate when people try to make it seem like.
crazy isn't in everyone. Everyone has a crazy button. Some people just don't get it pressed because people ain't testing them. You know, make it make sense. If you're not being tested, of course your crazy is not going to come out. But if you're being tested, then your crazy is going to come out. It just makes sense. So don't try to be with somebody just because you think, oh, this person is crazy. So I'm going to be with this one because she's not as crazy. No, you just ain't see it yet. You ain't get to press that button. So, yeah. And that's for boys, too. And I dislike, too, when people make it seem like guys can't be overly clingy to the feminine. And then gives off stalker. Or, but when a female do it, it's okay. <sighs> and I'm saying all this, but... Sometimes I don't take my advice into consideration. I just think it's right. And there's never a right or wrong. It's just that. And I uh, another thing too is I dislike when people try to tell another person about their significant other, like this person laying next to this person in the bed. They know them more than you do. A majority of the time, unless they come, they knew them from way back then. But sometimes even that, you just know that version. You don't know the one that's in the bed version with this individual. So how you gonna tell them who somebody is? I don't like that neither. And I don't like too where people feel like when you in a relationship, you gotta collide your friend groups. Like, no, not everybody wants to collide their friend groups with their individual with their person because when things get rocky, now the friend group feel like who they gonna choose, who they gotta choose. So it's just best to have separate friend groups and then have friend groups that you do collide together. We are having a lot of stuff more in common with that friend group. Does that make sense? Another thing that's a pet peeve of mine. If I can't get a bag with you, I don't want to lay next to you. And that's my opinion. Like, if we can't have a business or something together, I don't want to be around you. I'm just be irritated all day. Like, it's like we missing bread together. Because that's how society works. Money, money, money. And why not? Try to get money together so we can have more quality time together. Beat the odds, you know what I mean? Hmm. I'm seeing it, but that's not my life right now. You can test it. It's not in the best way. Because relationships I've been in, I'm on the past. It was easier. They wasn't making money. Because this was when I was younger, so working a job wasn't really that important in around that time. Most of these relationships that I was in. And then, <clears throat> I don't know. But that's it, that's all. I'm done. I ain't done the food, but I'm the majority of it, so.
All right, love, laugh, mesh, love, lies, divide.